welcome to another installment of the build if this is your first one i highly recommend to check out uh, the build episode one right here and that's when we decided to get this thing into the garage because we're in an hoa neighborhood and they won't allow us to work on the trailer outside Anyway, in this episode, we're just trying to get everything ready for primer and paint on the inside. Um, mind yourself, it's already March of 2019 and we were supposed to be on the road already. Yeah, it took way longer than expected to build this thing. So anyway, let's just dive in and see how it goes. So here I am getting the upper cabinets for the kitchen ready and since it's right off the front door I'm installing our Ames controller for our inverter as well as our midnight solar controller. The trailer still feels nice and open, but unfortunately we still have a bathroom and um, Braxton's bed to add in. Thanks to my assistant Braxton, you get to see the sliding doors. Now, we decided to go with sliding doors for the master bathroom and the master bed. It just went way easier into the floor plan. Trying to do any hinge doors was just not going to happen. Now here is a previous shot of when we decided to lay out the bathroom itself. Believe it or not, the shower floor is actually a washing machine drip pan. And then we went ahead with the nature head compost toilet. Our beds we actually went with IKEA slats which not only helps make the beds more comfortable but also allows the mattress to breathe and since Braxton's bed is going to be a Murphy bed that folds into the wall we needed to make a supporting frame for it so it would be strong enough to hold itself and the mattress now initially we were going to hinge it on the side walls and have it pivot, but none of the math really worked out. In the end, the problem was trying to figure out how to make enough storage underneath the bed for toys and such, but make sure that the bed would fold up properly um, and then fold out without getting into the hallway itself. It needed to be just as wide as the bathroom or the bathroom needed to be just as wide as the bed. I don't remember. Yeah. 
So here's a quick before panoramic of what the trailer looked like before we started painting it. After the ceiling was finished, we needed to get some lights in here, so we installed these LED cabinet lights. Now they are 12 volt LEDs, so we wired them directly into our 12 volt system and did not use the 120 volt plug that came with them. These lights have worked really well. Um, the only issue I have with them is the dimmer switch that came with it. We ordered a ton for the trailer and we ended up with two switches that I needed to take apart and resolder some connections in order to make them work. So I don't know how well these switches are going to last in the long run, but the lights have been great. This is what the interior looked like after we got it painted and the LED lights obviously are making one heck of a difference. I can finally see what I'm doing. So here Jessa and I are installing a moving wall. So in order to make the Murphy bed into a bunk room, we decided to do a sliding wall inside. So essentially instead of having a slide that goes outside of the trailer, it goes in. And we use the same hardware that we got from Amazon to do our pocket doors for the master bedroom and bathroom. So we did a sliding wall and then inside this wall we did a sliding door. So the way it's supposed to work is you pull the wall out, you drop the Murphy bed, push the wall into place and then you have a actual sliding door for Braxton's bedroom. Thanks for watching this installment of the build. I promise you the next video is going to be a good one. I am geeking out a bit because it is going to be about the electrical system of the trailer and that's really my forte and that I'm really excited about sharing with everybody. So please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss the next one. Thanks for watching and happy travels.